Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Zin's R700 Furiosa chassis. A few shout outs to get out of the way before we continue any further. This is a model based off of an in real life creation by Zin. Uh, he goes by quite a few different names. His actual uh, name is Trey. He's one of the moderators of the channel. Pretty cool dude. Uh, one of the more talented LEGO builders when it comes to mechanisms and things like that. Uh, this is based off of his in real life model, including the firing pin um, that he did in his, uh, which is a, a kind of a rare thing because I usually don't include that uh, with my models at all. Uh, the next shout out is going to be to Plaque Bar. Um, another person in the community is very prominent, and very talented Lego gun builder for the scope. Um, it's actually a mashup of two different types of his scope to get the one. Uh, I think it's one of the more beautiful Lego scopes that we have in the community. Uh, it's probably one of my more popular scopes that I use personally because uh, it's just, it looks really, really good. Um, the other shout out is going to be to myself because this is, uh, in the grand scheme of things, the word would be collaboration, though uh, not really, um, between me and Trey. Uh, Trey built this in real life um, because I fell in absolute love with the Furiosa chassis the second I saw it um, and he wanted to see it rendered inside of LDD appropriate colors because he built his rainbow and he wanted to see it dropped into my R700 receiver that I had so between me and him uh, I made it happen and this is what we're looking at and you can see this from multiple different angles there's actually quite a few different stud transitions going on um, like I said, this does include the firing pin mechanism that Trey used, and the firing pin is just here. It is not sticking out, so in this image it would not be cocked. I will not be showing that mechanism, as I do not have Trey's permission to show it, as far as I know. Um, and I feel like it would be unfair to him uh, to just openly show it without any type of permission. As you can see, there's actually quite a few different stud transitions going on here. We have a three-wide barrel. Uh, three ride bolt section which is kind of necessary for the firing pin mechanism anyways uh, that gives us a five wide receiver between all of this and neck down into four studs for the rest of this um, which i think works out overall really really well this is what it looks like inside of ld itself uh, you can see that we have some actual uh, rounds made for this. These are the same rounds that I used for my um, M60. They're also the same rounds that I've used for the USR uh, from Call of Duty Ghosts, which is a model that will be coming out later on down the line. But for now, this is what we have. As you can see, like I said before, this is a three wide barrel. Um, instead of rims keeping all of this together, uh, we're using the quote unquote illegal method where we stick two by two cylinders down the entire length of this barrel and stack them up on top of one another. That is the method in which that these tires are clinging to this entire model. Um, this entire receiver is essentially designed off of trays. So stock, pistol grip, this portion of the receiver and this is all designed off trays build itself. As you can see, we have the front wooden handguard, which is something that I actually really like about the Furiosa uh, chassis, is it blends that wooden aesthetic um, with metal parts. Uh, it just it looks really beautiful. Um, it, they have this section cut out here to allow you to attach attachments. Um, as you can see, we have one on this side and one on the other side, as designed by Trey. Um, this is cut at an angle to match up into the receiver which I have included. We have our three wide bolt plus firing pin mechanism. So essentially, um, as you cock this, um, a portion of the trigger might do some things internally that I'm not going to discuss too much because I don't know how much Trey wants to know. Um, and when you close this all the way, the firing pin will be sticking out one stud. When you pull the trigger, uh, the firing pin will actually boop uh, back up into its position now. So this is the decocked position uh, and it can move and snap back into place from cocked to decocked, uh, which is nice. This scope, as I've said before, is actually a mashup of two different scopes by Plaque Bar. Uh, we actually have this scope here, which is like his kind of traditional looking 
uh, LPVO type optic um, with a larger glass piece kind of pushed to the, the front end of that to get a kind of standard scope that I've been using for a while. So thank you Plaque for providing this. This is actually probably one of the best scopes in the community. I highly recommend you guys uh, to think about using this in the future if you're trying to make any scopes. Uh, we do have the flat face trigger, a uh, pretty basic trigger guard, uh, and a pretty basic um, pistol grip, semi pistol grip stock that comes into a more uh, tactical version, if you will, of a actual precision rifle stock. Uh, we do have a little bit of the, the flaring out going on back here, um, plus the adjustable cheek rest. A little bit of a rail system down here for a monopod if needed, uh, and then a pretty beefy rubberized back butt pad. Um, the butt pad is also adjustable, um, a few pieces out, a few clicks out, as is the cheek rest. You just pull this pin, move up or down, push pin back in, pull this pin, move out or move in, push pin back in. Relatively simple. This is Trey's R700 Furiosa chassis. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to come right and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. See you guys later in another YouTube video another time. Thanks for watching.